Hello my friends and welcome to the evil British American Civil War. It is episode 22. Things are looking grim for our unionist friends. France launches new offensives aiming to control... What's that? Puebla? And Tabasco in Mexico. Pro-Confederate bushwhackers cause disruption in Missouri. Pro-Union bandits cause disruption in Kentucky. I guess that's their idea of trying to balance the situation. The biggest issue for the Union is they've just they've they're they've taken uh, three morale penalties, so they're at 0 0.85 morale because of their fighting spirit score. Well, oh, he actually got damage. I'm willing to bet that most of their navy is in this river somewhere. Okay, they're just making repairs. The more land I capture for the UK, the more MPP they're going to get as well. Oh. It looks like the AI has realized that it needs to defend Cairo because it's massing units here. Enemy contact! It's an evil bathtub. Two for nothing. It's not great. Four for two. It's alright considering they've got a better unit there. Okay, he gets nothing. Two pip. This song's getting into my head now. I may have to stop it at some point. <laughs> Oh, right, they did almost nothing. Japanese Emperor Komei orders the expulsion of Europeans from Japan. And so begins 200 years of isolation, roughly. Hey, that intelligence report is actually useful. Nice. Uh, 
ここセミナー Why can I not deploy this unit? Belongs to the Cherokee. I do not know. For now, I will not worry about it. I wonder if that capital's been left undefended. Another good hit. Just taking the opportunity here to upgrade this cavalry before I start moving it up. Right, getting distracted here.、Uh, first things first UK, HQ. We got Penafather, Grant, Campbell, and Rose. Let's go with Grant. Can Grant me victory? <laughs> oh. Alright. Let's get our、uh, British moves done. Good hit. Looks like these towns are now fully repaired. That's good. Worry about our ground forces first before we do any further. Ooh, I low balled. But so did he. Wow, actually, that was expected. I low balled again. And again. Oh, and he highballed. I'm like out by four points here. Thanks to these rolls. What are the odds that that's taken? Or defended, I suppose is the right word. The fact that it didn't reveal the tile in front of me is a pretty strong sign. Nope. It's clear. Okay, sweet. Another town taken. It does have a small MPP value. Two for four! I've been lied to before, though. Go on then. Oh, I got four!
Okay, that'll do. I'll take it. It's not so bad to exchange British MPP at that rate of exchange. Right, that leaves 57 points for the Navy. Which is not much, but now the HQ is bought and it's on its way. At some point, I need to head up here and start harassing this. They've got nine ships. Can naval cruise these gunboats? How fun. The other great thing about reading the supply lines, of course, will be the slow increase in experience for all the units doing it. You can also gain experience by just blasting that port. Okay. forces are on their way. Yeah, so the UK will now have the money to start repairing its navy. Just wanted to make sure I bought that HQ. Got it in the production queue. Kind of funny that the British are at war, but they don't actually receive any reinforcements at all. I guess that would make things a little bit too difficult for the Union. Okay. This ironclad needs repairs, but it's not going to get them right now. Okay, look, monitors cannot go in the river. It's all a lie. Okay. Fine. I need to hold these units in position because I'm pretty sure the enemy can just spawn units here and then send them up. So that little blockade makes sure that that nonsense doesn't happen. Once most of this fleet is repaired and these crippled units no longer require sheltering, it will be, uh, we'll go all in on the, um, on the blockading. 
Blockading also hurts the Union's fighting spirit, but it's by a pathetic amount. It's like by 8 points per ship. So if you've got 10 ships blockading, it's like 80 points a turn. Considering there's only like about 90 turns in the whole game, that's a pretty sad amount. It's the MPP damage that matters. Although even that is not enormous. Okay, reinforcements are on their way. What is this? Okay, so it's a fort. on his way. Okay. I'm going to be going on the offensive very soon. Presume that attacking them is a bad idea. Union occupied. No value. Fighting spirit value, too. So capturing it takes some fighting spirit. Except that it's occupied, so it doesn't actually matter for me. 113%. The next tick up for fighting spirit bonus is 125, which I don't think I'll reach. It's, uh, it's a lot of points required to get there. But hey, who knows? Four points that went up by. This technology is moving really slowly. Crawling along. You know what? Let's do it. The old scout balloons might be useful. Uh, actually, okay, so this position three for one, one for one, one for one. For two, take it. Oh, we didn't even get anything. Let's upgrade this. Swap these. Upgrade this. Swap these. Upgrade this. It's kind of weird that this unit counts as infantry, but anyway, I just need to hold the line there. Although. If I can get all of the Indian territory back and um, I 
If I can get all of this Indian territory back, take this and take this, I may be able to sweep in from behind and take the mine back. Which is really the only valuable thing in Missouri is that mine. From what I can see. I mean, obviously every little town and city is worth some small amount of MPP, but the mine is worth 20. So... Upgrades for you. Upgrades for you. Oh, can I repair that by one? Can't repair that at all. Supply here is terrible. I think an encirclement is the only way forward here. Supply six, so his supply is not great either. Let's pull that back so I can repair it. Okay, the situation here will improve as Batesville repairs. I think the basic point here, and obviously as this repairs as well, the basic point here will be to come around from behind and loop loop this in, kill this first by cutting it off, and then uh, then we'll get these two. I was, based on the position of this cavalry, I was going to send it up here to assist. But the sheer amount of Indian cavalry that's being raised right now, there's really no need for cavalry on that side. But this team has only got one set, so... Let's just walk them. You know what, no matter what we do, the supply is going to be bad. Let's just race them up there. Okay. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. for one, eh? We're out of rail. The 
There's no railway up here anymore. I'm going to say that this position here is probably the one that I most want to deal with. Um, three, two, three, two. Wasn't supposed to happen. Wow, well, we can't get out of there without dying, so let's go ahead and repair this. Let's go ahead and upgrade this. Kinda wanted to upgrade this, but I cannot. My two. Oh, we got four. Absolute filth. Three for three. Go. Nice, I got four. But he got four again. Have that core right on the front line. Triumphantly, another town is taken. Gonna try and move this cheap unit over here and take New Madrid. Maybe, I mean, this HQ looks mighty exposed. It would be a great pick off. Right. Two for four. Take it. Ooh. Got the bad end of the stick there. Nice work. Don't know if I want to push forward a unit with five HP. Do I finish the job? Is that worth anything? No. I should have been repairing this core, but I will take the opportunity to finish the job on that unit. Next turn I'll repair that. Let's hope that I don't get hard engaged. Okay, we want to... So Evansville is also another place we could take and so is New Albany. These are all fighting strength objectives. Why can 
can you move so little? This is road. I guess most of these towns are in terrible condition. Okay, next turn it'll be much better. I'm thinking that what we want to do is we want to push here to Rome and then we can make an assessment as to which one of these towns might be the easier pick off. Right. Oh, would you look at that? Well, that explains why these guys are holding on so well. Oh, we got a friggin' extra damage. Lowballed again. <sighs> the amount of times that guy has been saved by a low ball. Really frustrating. Come boys, here come the cores. I will not be I will not be putting divisions there, they will just be destroyed. And the word, the, the, the word that I would best use is not destroyed, but annihilated. Shall we start moving in? Three for two on a more expensive unit. Oh, just one. One for four. Wow, thank you, RNG. Oh, a low ball. But his unit morale broke. points left. No, four. That's every action point it has. Frederick and Hagerstown will soon be mine.
these three cores can establish this area. I suppose I could just start blasting the capital. That involves putting a division there, a uh, brigade, which would, that, you know, it would be under so much pressure. Look at the hole here. These HQs are practically undefended. All right, the Maryland invasion begins by securing these three critical towns, Frederick Hagerstown and Harper's Ferry no longer being under siege. Um, we will create a supply chain here which can then loop around behind Washington. Meanwhile, a great a great army of British reinforcements might be able to do a naval landing, say here or here, something along those lines. They're on their way. Although I'm not sure I'd want to risk some extremely good British units for uh, for that, but we'll see. Two MPP, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, like twelve MPP for Delaware. You know, it's tiny amounts of money, but I think every penny hurts the Union right now. Right. What do we buy? We're actually relatively wealthy now. Actual real ships feels like a waste of time. Though they could be used to harass. could start diplomatic efforts on another European power. Wouldn't that wouldn't that ruin the friggin' day? See, I could start producing like ironclads as the Confederates, which is what I already started doing, because they're powerful and they can be used aggressively against the Union fleet. So buy all this crappy wooden garbage, flood the rivers with it. the old railroad battery that can't uh, cannot damage units can only attack artillery and forts
You know what? I'll buy it just to friggin' have it. How long until core? Sure, why not? Let's get all the ironclads. Don't worry about even evil bathtubs later. Okay, and that is it for now. This union position is looking incredibly fragile now. This bit is strong, but the rest of it looks really weak. The British forces are uh, nearly in position to assist. This port should soon be repaired enough that the British, this British unit here can get into a transport along with his allies here. One, two, three. So we got four, five, six, seven. Potentially seven British units with which to uh, lead a push. I was thinking of invading Delaware, but the problem with it is there's no port. If you look at it, you'll realize there's no ports. So if we land here, we're going to have to use the British Navy to unpick this fort and actually win this town. I mean, that said, we will be spending our money on fleet repairs soon. We got the HQ we wanted with the British. The British economy is improving with captures of various towns. The Union is under pressure from every angle. Yeah, I think the back of the Union here is broken. But they got 106 units, so let's not write them off. I think if the British can lead an invasion of Delaware, we can put pressure on this fort. I mean, honestly, I could establish the foothold now and see how they react. If they send a horde of units down here, I might then be able to pin them in. You know what? Let's start the invasion and see what they do. If they actually bring a ton of units down here, then when the uh, when the other group arrives, when this group arrives, they can deploy here, and then the enemy would be like pinned in. This town also uh, was Confederate, which means that it's uh, liberation is going to very quickly offer a good supply. I think I might potentially be able to... Yeah, 
Yeah, I feel like I might also potentially be able to just bash this fort down with the ships. Okay, this was quite the turn. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys next time.